Hey y'all, I thought I'd give you guys a quick update about what's been going on since we got to Hawaii. It's been a while. We've been here almost a month. Um, that's not Big Handsome, but there's Big Handsome back there behind me. We're taking out the trash. This is how you do it. You drive it to the free dump. <laughs> There's no trash pickup. There's no electricity. There's no water. Of course, there's no trash pickup and there's no mail. So, um, yeah, it's been like crazy going just so much. So much has been going on since we got here. We have been doing a lot of stuff and I haven't had time to make a lot of videos. It's been crazy. I, we kind of had to like get here and just start running because um, we left early to get Casey in school in time to start the new year. So we had about a week and a couple of days to get all of her registration paperwork done and then of course California gave us the wrong medical form. So it was just this crazy just stuff. We just had to do a lot of stuff to try and get that ready plus school shopping plus getting settled in our new house everything was empty and we're talking about boys and a boy pantry like i had to buy everything i think they had like seasoned salt mustard and barbecue sauce in their array of seasoning so there was a lot that i had to do to get our little house ready and thank goodness we had the rental house that has been a huge blessing we've had electricity and water and we're learning a little bit about some of the struggles of you know living off grid just a little um but we've learned a few things about what we want to do and how we want to do things on our house and how we don't want to do things on our house so that's been kind of cool so we, um, we've been having uh, solar. We have limited solar because there's not that much batteries at the property we're at. So we have limited solar. We have to run a generator every day to charge the solar panels so that they'll keep the refrigerator running all night. So we've had a few little challenges, but we're getting used to some of the things that we have to do to live off grid. It's been um, a really good learning experience for us to be in the rental house for a little while. And um, we're off headed to Home Depot right now to get some stuff for our cabin that we'll be moving into in a little over a week. I think we're going to stay in the rental until the end of the month and then um, we'll get over there because there's some things that we need to get in place like some water and stuff like that so that we can take showers. We're waiting for our little instant hot shower water heater. Um, little setup to come from Amazon so uh, a shower is important so we have to get that it's also going to help us to have some running water for dishes and stuff and what else has been going on um, oh, what else has been going on lots of building lots of building, lots of building go is going on there's the handsome say hi big handsome hi. so lots of building going on yes the boys have been working so hard and We've had two major storms come past the islands. I won't say through or over because we got just a little bit of it, but there was um, a couple of, let me roll the window up. Ugh. Okay, sorry about that. There's been a couple of storms that have come through and they have um, just brought a lot of rain, nothing really major not a lot of winds we haven't had any trouble over on our property with like high winds or floods or anything but tons and tons of rain so the guys have been working like mad in the pouring pouring rain they come home looking like they just like jumped in the river like it's bad I can't imagine what it's like for them working in the rain so we've been really happy um, to have had the last few days where there's been a lot of sunshine and it's been really nice and you can see out the window it's a beautiful bright clear day and that's wonderful and they need that because they're trying to get the roof on and I don't want them up on the roof while it's raining and pouring I can just imagine somebody falling off the roof not a good thing but we got Casey in school and she's doing great she has a great group of friends she's having a lot of fun uh, Stevie has been searching for a job like crazy the boys have been working like mad with Steve trying to get our little cabins built. We have the um, the little tiny trapper shack that the boys lived in while they were here without us. And we are enlarging that a little bit and Joe and Tiffany and the baby will be staying in there. 
and then we have the larger cabin which is about 400 square foot that we're putting together right now and that's going to be for the rest of us to sleep in and have until we can start building our house which we're in the process of doing uh, maybe I'll try and get a quick shot of the uh, building plan up here on YouTube for you guys but we are going with an Argus building um, Argus building supplies and they do like whole home packages which is really cool they are handling all of our drawings and engineered drawings for our cesspool for septic or whatever uh, for our water catchment for all of the building plus they just deliver all of the materials that we need to build the house which is very cool uh, it's all outside stuff though so we'll have everything that you need to create the outside shell of a house all and the electrical and the plumbing and then other than that we'll be adding um, all of our own fixtures on the inside so uh, but that's what's happening right now uh, lots and lots of work the boys are working so hard to get everything done so that we can get moved over onto our land and I do have some video clips of that and of them working and hopefully I can get those added on here as soon as possible but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little five minute update this is probably about six minutes now but I did my best so okay I'll see you guys all very soon bye for now